Hey you two, what up, what up? We have two lines that are perpendicular and we want to prove the correspondence of their gradients. So in other words, we would consider that the gradient of line 1, let's say m1, is equal to negative 1 over m2. That we are going to prove right now. Okay, so let's say for simplicity that line 1 goes through the origin. It might go through actually um, any point, but for simplicity of proof, I'll just use that case. So let's have an equation in gradient intercept form for the line 1 in the form m1 times x, where is the gradient of the first line m1. Okay, so m1 is the gradient of the line L1. Okay, so we have another line, I put it red, which is perpendicular to line 1. And for again simplicity, I will use the following. So I will just put the line perpendicular to line 1. That goes through the origin as well. So in other words, I will use that line which have which has the right angle. So actually it's not good. It's not precisely right angle. However, I'm drawing by my hand so without any tools, so let it be like this. Okay, that's much more proper. This is line two, L2, and the equation of the line two will have again the following form of gradient intercept. So we'll write y equals m2x. As you consider, so as you can see here, because they go through the origin, both c, I mean y intercept for both lines, will be equal to zero. That will simplify our proof. Actually, that doesn't have any influence on this formula, how the gradients are connected. They still, it still be fair for any lines, no matter where they are. So simply, you can make a just simple translation, linear transformation, as you remember, in order to transfer both lines and a point of intersection of them into any like point, like um, in a, any point on Cartesian plane. All right, so now let's work on that proof. So what we're gonna do? We're going to do the following. So this is the gradient of L2. So what we're going to do right now. For simplicity, I'll take some random point on the line L1. And let's mark it as A. It should have the coordinates, let's say, X1 and Y1. There might be any numbers satisfying the equation of the line. Okay, so simply to say, if I mark the gradients, I will use, let's say, blue, in order to mark the gradient, in, in order to mark the coordinates of this point. So, simply to say, this is x1, and this is like the short distance, vertical distance is going to be y1. In other words, we have a right angle triangle. So, now it's right time remember transformation of rotation so what if what if so we rotate our triangle o x1 y1 simply that one this is right angle what if we rotate 90 degrees anti clockwise around or about pivoting point which is in the origin so around simply zero zero that's the pivot or a pivoting point so obviously we'll get the phone so let's pretend that we retain in that and actually by 90 degrees turn we'll arrive to that point that's actually be a star and let's say it will have the following coordinates x2 and y2 and now it's right time to remember during rotation around uh, around the origin what will happen so simply to say x1 
the coordinates, the x coordinates of point A becomes y coordinates of A star. So simply say it's y2. And y1 of the A coordinate, that's A coordinate, this A star becomes simply to say x2. All right, so indeed, let's check it. We have two units here, stays for x1. During rotation, simply to say OX1 segment will be turned and it becomes simply to say OY2. All right, this is 90 degrees turn. Okay, so what about that segment, X1, Y1, like in between, you know, point A itself and X1 coordinates? During rotation, it becomes that segment. So, simply to say that Y1 lens becomes arranged as X2. But obviously, you see that it would take the absolute value of X2. So we need to say that it becomes negative x2, because in this case, simply to say x2 is the negative coordinates. So we might have the following. So y1 becomes negative x2. Or just remember how you rotate right angle triangle. So this is hypotenuse. It becomes this red one. This leg becomes that leg, vertical one, and vertical leg becomes horizontal leg. All right? Now, I guess you remember that it's from rotation or transformation theory. All right? So, having that, we can take those two equations and say, if we plug the coordinate A in the equation of the line 1, simply x1 and y1, we'll have the following equation, y1 equals m1 and x1. So what about a star coordinate, which is simply x2 and y2? It will be simply y2 equals m2 and x2. All right, but what we noticed that simply x1 becomes y2. So we can change x1 into y2. And what about another one? y1 becomes negative absolute x2. It's right time to plug that. Instead of y1, simply here, I'll put negative x2. This is negative x2. And instead of x1, I'll put y2. Now, what we're going to do? We know that y2 is this. So, using simultaneous equation, we simply can rechange y2 into the right side. Okay, so we'll have the following. Negative x2 will be equal to m1 times m2 and times x2. So we can transfer it and factorize or simply divide by x2. Of course, having that x2 not equal to 0. And we will get the following. Negative 1 equals m1 times m2. Or rearrange that, we'll have the following. m1 simply is negative 1 over m2. That what we exactly need to prove. Let's compare with what we have originally in 1. Yeah, this is simply to say we've got 1, so 1, 2, identical. So that's the proof. So one more time, this proof was based on the rotation Theory. So when we rotate 90 degrees, simply we change the y coordinates into x coordinates and vice versa. There is also another proof, but if you're aware of that, 
it's connected with uh, vectors. You can also consider vectors. So one vector is directed through L1 and another vector is directed through L2. And because we have 90 degrees angle, we will use just simply scalar product. Scalar product. But I'm not sure in the GCC program, you're not actually, you, you, you're not supposed to cover that topic. This is the topic for AB or A level. So for those who wants to show or who wants to see the proof using scalar product of two vectors, L1 and L2, welcome to my video dedicated to scalar product proof about two perpendicular lines okay so because the angle is 90 degrees scalar product should be equal to zero okay and in this case we'll have the product of corresponding coordinates and simply to say we will have the following by definition scalar product is the product of the corresponding coordinates so the coordinates x1 is multiplied by coordinates x2 and y1 will be multiplied by y2 and the result is zero. And now just again we'll use the equation of the y, y equals m1x and y equals m2x and let's see what will happen. We'll have the following, so y1 is simply m1x1 and y2 is simply m2x2. If we plug those values for y's here back to our original equation we'll have the following x1 x2 will be will be equal okay minus m1 m2 x1 x2 and what we have indeed right now we can divide by x1 x2 having that each of them not equal to zero and we will arrive to 1 equals negative m1 m2 from where we can express say m1 as negative 1 over m2 that's another way to prove so probably it's shorter however it involves the scalar product and idea of vectors if you're aware about that this will be fast track how to prove that gradients of two perpendicular lines are in the reciprocal ratio with negative sign. So keep in mind that gradient for parallel lines will be the same because simply to say a gradient defines the slope and for parallel lines the slope will be identical. And also you can connect for parallel lines the gradients of parallel lines with the tangent and tangent will be the same. Okay that was nice proof so guys hope you enjoy maybe for someone that was not so easy so try to go and try to watch one more time and you'll get the idea that one more time the idea was based on transformation theory about rotation and the second way how to prove we used vectors okay so don't forget to share this video to someone who are really in need who are struggling with like proofs who are struggling with deep understanding of mass so don't forget to put likes if you enjoy this video and also don't forget to subscribe in order to be with the latest updates and in order to be with me. Thanks and see you.